Hello my dear students very good morning to all hope you are all doing good i am very happy to see you all again in this online learning today we are going to discuss about some other basics involved in water technology or water treatment we have already learned that dissolved calcium and magnesium salts produces hardness in water and the salts which are responsible for hardness are listed here that is bicarbonates chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium so these six salts are responsible for the hardness in water apart from these six salts no other salts produces hardness in water we all know that bicarbonates are thermally unstable which means that on heating bicarbonates decompose to give carbon dioxide and water so all other salts are not thermally unstable compared to bicarbonates hence we are going to classify hardness into two types as temporary and permanent so temporary hardness is caused by bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium and it can be easily removed by boiling whereas permanent hardness is caused by chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium which cannot be removed by boiling now we are going to discuss about temporary hardness and its removal already we have learned that temporary hardness is caused by bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium here you can see the image where the salt containing temporary hardness that is calcium bicarbonate salt is present in the water and it is boiled so as a result the calcium bicarbonate is decomposed to calcium carbonate along with the formation of carbon dioxide and water so this is how temporary hardness is removed from water the calcium carbonate which is deposited or precipitated can be removed by filtration now the water is free from temporary hardness here you can see the equation involved i will write the equation separately here you can see what happens to the temporary hardness producing salts during boiling the calcium bicarbonate on boiling decomposes to calcium carbonate water and carbon dioxide similarly magnesium bicarbonate is decomposing into magnesium hydroxide and carbon dioxide so this is how the hardness producing bicarbonate salts are removed what happens to the temporary hardness producing bicarbonates during boiling so what actually happens is the calcium bicarbonate present in the hot water on boiling gets decomposed into calcium carbonate plus carbon dioxide plus water so in the meantime the magnesium bicarbonate present in the water sample or water is decomposes into magnesium hydroxide and carbon dioxide so now the calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide precipitated or settled down is removed by filtration so now you can see that the water is free from temporary hardness producing salts now we are going to see about the permanent hardness producing salts here in the left side of the image you are seeing a flask containing scales formed so these are produced by the permanent hardness producing chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium and permanent hardness is not possible to remove by boiling that is simply boiling cannot remove permanent hardness from the water so here you can see the image where the permanent hardness containing water is being boiled so here the permanent hardness producing salts are not removed they are remaining in the water even after boiling so we have to move to some other methods by which the permanent hardness are removed so here we have listed some methods like treatment with washing soda and then calgans method then ion exchange method and then synthetic resins method so these are the few methods by which permanent hardness can be easily removed 
from the water and permanent hardness cannot be removed by simple boiling because the sulfates and chlorides are not unstable salts and they are always in the water sample even after boiling so now we are going to see how washing soda is removing permanent hardness from the water sample so washing soda is nothing but sodium carbonate which reacts with the permanent hardness producing salts and precipitate them as carbonate so these carbonates can easily be filtered and we can make the water free from permanent hardness now we are going to see about the equations involved in the removal of permanent hardness when we are using washing soda so let us consider calcium chloride the hardness producing salt which is made to react with washing soda that is sodium carbonate what we are getting is calcium carbonate precipitate which is deposited and two moles of sodium chloride similarly when we treat magnesium chloride what we will get is magnesium carbonate which is also a precipitate and deposited at the bottom of the vessel and we will be getting nacl again similarly the sulfate salts of calcium and magnesium is also removed by washing soda and what we will be getting is calcium carbonate which is removed as precipitate and one mole of sodium sulfate so for magnesium sulfate also the same equation magnesium carbonate will be formed and all this precipitates can be removed by filtration now the water is free from hardness producing calcium and magnesium chlorides and let us see one more method of removing permanent hardness so that is the synthetic resins method or ion exchange method so the name itself describes everything ion exchange method so actually ion exchange resins or the resins which are capable of exchanging its ion with the ions present in water so the harmful ions of water can be easily exchanged by the ion exchange resins and these ion exchange resins provide harmless ions to the water so hence almost all the ions are removed finally what we are getting is deionized or demineralized water so by ion exchange method we can remove permanent hardness and also all the ions present in the water so now it is time for the discussion so after learning these things if you have any doubts please ask me and thank you so much for the excellent response you have given and the interactions what we had in the class so hoping for the best classes in the future thank you have a nice day bye